Hey everybody, it's Jason Shadwick with PremierGuitar.com. We're at the Anaheim NAM show 2016. We're in the Orange booth with Adrian from Orange. And we were just hearing two new pieces of gear you guys brought to the show. This, uh, the O bass here that they heard and the bass amp that you were plugged into. So let's start with the, uh, the bass here. Tell us a little bit about this. Okay, so I wanted to do a bass that was quite classic looking and vintage vibed. You know, and but at the same time, I wanted it affordable, you know, so and traditional, easy to use, you know. And uh, so, this, this split pickup is eight mil further forward than it would be on a Fender equivalent, and it's just a volume tone there. And what that does is the placement of the pickup is you get an, a unique growl to it. Which is reminiscent of a P bass a little, but more. Mm -hmm. And that the upper register retains more bottom end. You know? Yeah. And the string balance is better. And I just you know, I didn't want to do anything with more than four strings. Uh, because all the best bass lines were done on four strings. <laughs> all the Motown stuff, you know, all the early rock and roll stuff. And uh, I want to get the kids back into rock and roll, man. Yeah, right. So it's affordable. It's like it's it's less than five hundred bucks. Nice. You know, nice. this bass. And when will the when will the bases start being available? Uh, within the next month or two, the month they'll be shipping. Before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as I know, <laughs> don't quote me on that. <laughs> All right, so let's move on now to the uh, the amp and tell us a little bit about the the four stroke five hundred here. Yeah, see, what we've got here is I wanted like a blank canvas so that people, no matter what their style, can plug into this and they, it's a very powerful EQ. It's plus minus 18 dB per band, yeah? And those are the frequencies that it covers, yeah? And there's no decoupling caps in there. It didn't need them, you know? So that that reduces noise and keeps signal in integrity uh, better, you know. So it's really quiet. Uh, background noise is negligible and it's really clean. Uh, but immense movements can be made with this equalization of course. section. Of course. You know. And what will be the price and availability on the, the amp? Well, You'll have to check the price with the sales guys. Sales guys? Yeah. And these are in production or? Uh, these will be shipping in May. In May. Yeah. Cool. So this is the the two-stroke boost EQ pedal. It's it's effectively a clean boost. So if you've got an amp that's set a certain way and you want to hear more of it, mm -hmm. you can just boost cleanly into this and have the character of your amp doing the overdrive, you know. But on top of that, you can set up a treble boost because you've got two parametrics. Mid boost, you can cut because this plus minus 18 dB also. You can cut and use this as a de-boost. So you've got like a, a good cranked amp sound going. You can take gain off with this, if, with the EQ, and EQ it in a certain way that it makes it very clean, almost acoustic-like. If you you know okay. you can get it, you, you know it's quite powerful. What it actually does is quite is quite effective, you know. Nice. And it's kind of a bit different to the normal approach of, the, you know, I wanted to do something a bit different, yeah, really. Yeah. This is an ABY box. It's, but it's probably more affordable and a lot smaller than a lot of the big ones, that, you know. ABY split boxes, the cheaper ones don't really work properly. There's still issues, earth loops, the if there is a transformer, the roll-off's terrible on it. Uh, the impedance is still high, you know. 
whereas the, some of the big ones are really good, but they need they need external power yeah. and they take up a lot of real estate on the on the pedal board, right? So I wanted something that was the standard our standard pedal size, you know. So you got the transformer on the B output. <laughs> Obviously there's a slight roll off on the bottom and the top on the transformer. So I've EQ'd it back in. Mm. So it matches closer the A yeah. output, yeah. And then if one of the amps you're using is out of phase, yeah. yeah. If you hear more bottom end when you press this button, you're in phase. Okay. That you know, that's how that works. So if I get some power to it so I can show you the the it's really simple the way it works. So that'll be the A. That'll be B. If it's blue it's both. Okay. Yeah. And if you hit both again, it goes back to what amp you're running on with this, whether it be that or that. You see, and it also steps it up internally to 18 volts. They both do. All, all our pedals do that. Now, what that does is it gives it more headroom. So, if you've got a bunch of pedals making an immense amount of signal level going into this, and then you're going to two amps, you'll never distort this yeah. because this will have more headroom than most of the pedals. Mm -hmm. You know, so. You know, this will stay clean. You, you know, you'll be hearing what you want to be hearing, which is your pedals, but you won't be hearing. This won't be imparting. Uh, Coloring the tone. No, the only thing it will do is it'll output low impedance, oh. so you can, you, you know, you degrade the signal less. Sure. With you know, the, the signal's much harder to load down. Right. You know, so it is a buffer. It can be used as a buffer, actually. Mm -hmm. And it only draws 12 milliamps, and it can run on a single 9 volt battery. That's great. And what will be uh, availability on the two pedals, do you think? Uh, again, we'll have to check on that. But, okay. they, I mean, they're ready now, so uh, I'd say a couple months. A month or two. And maybe, maybe less. And where can people go online to find more information about the bass, the amp, the pedals, and everything else that's orange? Yeah, that's, uh, that's orangeamps.com. <laughs> all right, Adrian. Thank you so much for walking us through all the new, Excellent. all the new toys here. Nice one. This is, J <laughs> this is Jason Jad with PremierGuitar.com. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep track of all of our NAM 2016 coverage.